What's good, y'all? It is your boy. Before this video start, subscribe. A lot of y'all motherfuckers be watching me and not subscribing. That shit be blowing my fucking mind. So today we are reacting to a little Chamberlain left Michael Jordan speechless. Now, they said this is the first time they've ever met in February of 97. I'm guessing this is the time when they met when Jordan had the coat and shit on, like the Bulls coat, whatever type of coat it was. And they said it was, so I don't know. I want to see what he said though. Who y'all think is more legendary? Michael Wilt. And I know a lot of people would be like, Mike easily, but you gotta also take in consideration Will Chamberlain and 100 points, man. 100 points, 100,000, now nah, I'm just playing. I've been watching, I'll give you a couple talks on right. Mike looks like he don't want to be fucked with though. I understand Michael was, at least from what I read, there was a moment of, of sort of human hesitation as the two of you came together. Did you sense anything? Yeah. Well, I, he was over there doing something, and I welcomed him to him. Maybe I surprised him a little bit, you know? Uh, they, they tip it. Yes, you, you could do that to <laughs> So I just got to wrap up. He did. All right. For a second or two. It's cool. Commissioner Stan, there has to be some concern. Though. The NBA will remain popular. It's a great game celebrating its 50th anniversary. But Michael Jordan is a once-in-a-lifetime phenomenon, and the Bulls have won four of the last six championships. The ratings for the last six NBA finals have all been strong, but the graph really jumps when Michael Jordan and the Bulls are on national television, even if other star players from major markets are in the other series. So when you lose Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls, there's got to be a dip. Well, there'll never be another Michael, but there'll never be another Charles. And tune in to NBC tomorrow to see the 50 <laughs> greatest players of all time. You know, Dr. J was the next Elgin Baylor. Michael Jordan was the next Dr. J. There are lots of grand pills coming, and and each one is singular. But as a group, uh, I assure you that they're going to continue the success of the NBA. But it has been a golden era of great players, great marketing and direction from your office, but also a little bit of luck in that Bird, Magic, and Michael, not only were the symbols of the league, but their teams, one after another, were the best team in the league, and they Facts. kept beating in the championship. Facts. You can't guarantee that that sort of circumstance will be repeated. What, the Boston Celtics and Bill Russell chop liver, Bob? No, no, I mean, I mean, you know, you don't even focus on the great teams that we've had, and there will continue to be. But that's prior to the He's that's telling the truth, though. In the NBA popularity. Well, it's prior to the media explosion that covered it. If Will Chamberlain no, had Stern, gotten man. the he exposure was, he was dope. that I'm playing to today, if Bill Russell had gotten it, there would have been a different golden era. To take nah, the for real? From current players. They may well be the best who played the game. They're playing in a golden age of media coverage, which will continue to grow. It became personal with me. 1997 at the 50th mm. anniversary celebration of the NBA, Chamberlain succinctly defined how the modern game had changed to its chief beneficiary. And over in the corner is Wilt and Michael Jordan. And they're sitting at a table mm. arguing vociferously as to who the greatest player of all time was. And they're just intense as can be. So now David Stern comes into the room. And says, okay guys, time to go. And Michael and Wilt are still going at it at this table over here. And so David finally says, Come on, Will, Michael, we gotta get going. And so they stand up. And Will, who always has the last word in everything, Will looked down at Michael and said, Hey, just remember that when you played, they changed all the rules to make it easy for you to die. When I played, they changed everything to make it more difficult. There was no retort, no comment. End of conversation. Advantage of the Wow. But you know what's crazy though? You know what's crazy? I could tell Mike, I ain't gonna say Mike didn't want to be bothered with Will, but you could tell at that time, it was 97, Mike was on ring number four, about to be five. So at this point of his career, I feel like Mike kind of was at that point where it's like, niggas keep trying to compare him to the greats and they keep trying to compare him to such, 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 such. And then Wilt come in like, the fuck, this nigga ain't all that. This, they had to change the rules for this nigga to go crazy. And Mike like, man, but here we go. These old niggas, these niggas swerving down. I ain't like that. And you feel, I really feel like that's what it was. Because I peeped when he when he walked up to Mike. Mike didn't want to be bothered. He was like, yeah, for sure. Yeah, all right. Like, he didn't, he didn't really want to be bothered with him. I could tell. Who y'all think is more like of a... And do y'all think Wilt is right? Did they, did they make the rules easier for Mike? Cause niggas, I mean, they, they was beating Mike ass too. They was beating Mike ass. It went the other way, as such.